Who do you think the funniest person at Barstool is? Nick Trini. Yeah. Agreed. He's number one. Mm-hmm. He's doing stand up now. I know he. So he he did ask me to workshop workshop some jokes uh, tomorrow. Oh yeah, you asked him last week. Yeah, yeah, and uh, we're doing it. Let's fucking go. I, <laughs> he came up to me this morning, and I have like allergies. I've never had allergies before. And I rode a bike into here, like into work, mm-hmm. and it's so cold out. So my eyes were watering. They were so red. I'm sniffling. I, I seem so crazy. He comes up to me and goes, it's now a, it's it now like a bad time. <laughs> it looked like I was crying. I was like, no, I'm good. I just got allergies. What's up, man? <laughs> Shut up. It's so cool. Uh, do you have a crush on him? <laughs> no, I just, uh, I respect his humor. His craft? His craft. Mm-hmm. Who do you I, think the least funny person at Barstool is? Um, Besides us. Stephen Che. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> mm-hmm. We were saying that Stephen You che, have to answer both. Funniest? Mm-hmm. Um... Joey Camasta. Yes, that's a that's least funniest. Up there. Um, I'm gonna go. Lil Sass. I'm just kidding. He's up there at the top too. Uh, he's a beast. His, <laughs> his shoes are falling off. Did you see that? No, I didn't see his that. His shoes are falling apart. He's just such a <laughs> humble man that he wears his shoes until the soles break. Dude, that's a man after my own heart. I know. Wait, <gasps> what? Remember how I just only wore one pair of shoes? Oh, yeah. But they... he, he's a man after your own heart. <laughs> yeah. A man after your own heart. A man after my own heart. That's a saying that my dad uses. Yeah, but what does it mean? It just means we get each other. Oh, he's after your heart. No. <laughs> I've just never heard that before, so I would just... A man... Like how I, I explained the, the same? Drake lyrics to you? Explain <laughs> dad, dad oh, saying... A man after my own heart. <laughs> uh, I don't think that's the right... A man after my own heart. A man after... I think that's the saying. No, that's, so that's sass. So, hmm? So that's sass, a man after your own heart. Yeah, I mean, he's, he's a humble guy who mm-hmm. keeps his own rockety shoes on. Mm-hmm. Rickety and rockety. Rickety and rockety. <laughs> I don't use the right words for nothing. Thank you. Can you explain? We got to double check from Hannah. Here, it just, is right. I'll just look it up since she doesn't have a mic. Karen, thank you. What is it? The man after my own heart? A man after my own heart. The man after my... I've heard that saying before, too. I just I just never had to explain it before. I just I just never heard it, so I have no idea what it means. A man after my own heart. King David was the anointed king of Israel. <laughs> Jesus Christ. He was chosen by the Lord while <laughs> King Saul was on the throne. David was called a man after God's own heart because he was faithful to the Lord. He was repentant when he did wrong and when he loved the Lord with all of his heart. What's the Urban Dictionary yet? So that is Sass. He just loves you with all of his heart. The Lord. Save, he's my Lord and Savior, Jesus Sass. Yeah. <laughs> Lord and Savior, Jesus Sass. Okay. That's pretty beast. Um, Doing a, sh- doing a show with Sassy. Oh, yes. Another one. Me, Sass, and Caroline. When is that? Uh, February something. Sold out. You should. Oh, damn. You know, you can come. Well, I know, but you, I was going to say you should plug it, but it's sold out. It's sold out. Well, sold out like that this. Damn, but that's like word. I mean, I think uh, Sass. Sass is. Sass has pull, but Grace has pull too. He's got pull. So does Caroline. I guess. So remember you you said somebody was screaming um, your name at Sass's show? You yeah. must have fucking hated that. Oh, yeah. Fucking brutal. Yeah. Don't do that. Yeah. Don't do that. <laughs> brutal. But um, I'm excited for that. 